Cody Blythe from the Nostalgia Trio YouTube channel and growing up in the 90s. I'm Justin Johnson from the YouTube channel Indie Mogul. Hello, my name is Tyler and I'm the poster. And you guys are watching the 200th episode of the Marvelous M Show. And you're watching the Marvelous M episode 200. And you are watching the 200th episode of the Marvelous M Show. years ago. And our first episode when we started the show. He's made a coin now. Got a line now. I have nothing. Please don't, don't you get it? Hi, I'm Taz. I'm going to be the all day. Holy f I was fat back then. What was up with my voice and hair? The point is, a lot has changed over these last 200 episodes. Like for instance, we went from making a bunch of videos just because we were bored, to making a whole official YouTube series. With an IMDb page and everything. This has been a blast for us, and we've had some fun making videos for you. And some of our videos have gotten way more views than we ever thought they would. Like our Let's Play Jumanji video. That got over 13,000 views. Hey, what was your favorite episode we made? Probably just the string of episodes from when we go to Triple Play or Splashdown or anything. Because uh, it, it's an experience for us. Uh, the M's travels? Yeah. Yeah. It's an experience for us, and also we have fun making the episodes. My favorite, oh, what was my favorite? My favorite 90s kids videos because Rhino and I get to talk a bunch about our childhoods and what we miss and everything. Well, you know what my favorite part of the show is? What? Get to smack your empty noggin. Yeah, well, do you know what uh, my favorite part of the show is? Huh. When I get to bonk your thick skull. Why I got Malcolm. What? Incoming transmission from growing up in the 90s. We'll display it, please. Cody, what's up? How you been? Well, at the moment, I am actually taking a break. I, like I said, finished my room, the you know, the nostalgia cave. I'm preparing to do some new stuff. Uh, I added on uh, another person to the channel. <laughs> uh, his name is Zed. Uh, he's a um, concealed identity character. He's um, kind of like a gimmick to the channel, uh, along with me and Kenny. Um, but me and Kenny are supposed to be doing a review of Batman and Robin in the next uh, few months after my trip to Power Morphicon, which is a convention specifically for Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to have a, a week-long video uh, series of my trip to California, so that's also coming up. So you guys have that to look forward to. Quick question, we're making the 200th episode. Which episode of ours is your personal favorite? It was the... Um, Remembering the 90s video, I, I, you know, stumbled across that somehow. I think it was someone sent it to my page growing up in the 90s. Um, and it was, it was a fun experience. Like I said, I have never steered away from watching your guys' videos. And uh, they're always fun to watch. Even when my first intent was to watch something about the 90s, it's always fun watching you guys do something else. That watermelon with the rubber bands thing, that was entertaining, guys. Hey, uh, anything you're working on at this moment? At the moment, we are doing good. We are trying to uh, let uh, days go by as well as try to come up with new ideas for the channel. And, um, you know, I've got a convention I'm going to, and my birthday's coming up on June 24th. Well, happy birthday. And i got a lot of things that are um, you know, coming soon, I'm having a good time. And, uh, yeah, everything's going good so far. You know, just out of curiosity, what would you say about our show, The Marvel Seb Show? That it's a very unique channel that deserves more attention. Uh, I've shared the you know YouTube channel as much as I can. I got a bunch of friends that I've you know directed you know their attention to it, and I've always had fun watching the channel. I think I've been a subscriber of it for a couple of years now, um, and I've always you know had fun watching and looking forward to seeing what you guys have to offer. Other than that. 
it, it's a fun channel. Very unique, very um, well put together, and you know, it, it's very fast paced. Every time I watch your videos, if it's a 20 minute long video, it feels like I just watched a two minute long video because you guys are very entertaining and uh, it's just fun. It's cool. Incoming transmission from Indie Mogul. Listen, dude, um, I gotta take this other call, but uh, uh, before I do, do you have any requests? If I had to make any recommendations, as Tim Allen would say from Home Improvement, more power, Rangers. Awesome. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Justin, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? We're doing great. So excited our channel's back up and people are watching it. Yeah, I heard that Indie Mogul's back. How is it doing? Indie Mogul is coming along very well. We are still kind of figuring out all of our shows and things like that, but it's been so cool to see the response from all of the old school fans who used to watch us and now watch us again. You've seen our show. Which episode was your favorite? Uh, it's hard for me to pick a personal favorite of the Marvelous M show. I just watched the Save Hastings episode and I like that. I, it reminds me a lot of when me and my friends would just make random videos in high school. I like the way you guys communicate in the same kind of weird way to each other. You clearly have a good rapport. Yeah, so I'm gonna say the newest one is always my personal favorite. Oh, thanks. That means a lot. Any new projects you're working on? Right now, Eric is working with Rocket Jump to build a baby doll prop. So he's working on that. And um, I am working on pitching for some commercial stuff. And also, um, yeah, just general indie mogul stuff. Editing um, a 360 camera cart, mo control camera cart thing that Eric built a while ago, so always something to edit, always something to work on. So those things, I guess. Overall, what do you think of our show? So what I like about Marvel Sam is you guys are very prolific. You're doing a lot of stuff, and like I said, it reminds me of what I was doing when I was your age. Goofing around with my friends, making fun videos. It's a great way of capturing, capturing your life in a way where you guys will look back in years and just remember how much fun you had and hopefully are still having, but it's a great time capsule and I like you guys keep it up. Cool. Incoming transmission from the Plumster. Uh, I gotta take this other call, but before I go, do you have any requests? Um, I wanna see more lightsabers. Lightsabers are always cool. Do some more lightsabers. More lightsabers. I will remember that. Well, if it isn't the Plumster himself, how are you been? Oh, uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm great. I just suddenly feel super. Uh, nothing to do with the shirt I'm wearing. How was your uh, video thing? As of now? Easy. You know, nothing good, nothing bad. Just decent. Hey, I hope you don't mind if you guest star on our 200th episode, but what was the first video of the Marvel Sam show you've seen? The first episode that I saw of the Marvel Sam show would have to be. If life was a 90s Nickelodeon sitcom. Which one of our videos is your favorite? I have three personal favorites. The Japanese Giant Hornets episode, Things All 90s Kids Remember, and Let's Play Jumanji. Hey, what are you working on right now? As of now, nothing. On my YouTube channel, nothing on my YouTube channel. But on my Facebook, I'll just leave it at that. What overall could you say about our show? The Marvelous M is the modern slapstick comedy equivalent to The Three Stooges and Abbott and Costello. That's awesome. Hey, before I hang up, do you have any requests? I want to see Malcolm do a parody of Duck and Buck. You know, old school Me Tunes cartoon. I want to see him make his own little spoof of that. We'll see what we can do. So cool, those guys, to be on our show. A sudden realization had hit me that I haven't had a haircut since our 100th episode. So to celebrate this great achievement we've reached, I will be donating this luscious hair to Locks for Love.
now it is time to answer your questions. The first question comes from Cody Blythe, our guest star. Oh well. What's your favorite 90s pastime, and if there's one thing you'd do if you went back in the 90s, what would it be? Either watching TV or going to the arcade with my cousin Chris, the redneck. Is it cold? Why don't you get your fat ass in here and find out? And if I could go back to the 90s, what would I do? Have a bowl of Oreo O's while watching a new episode of Legends of the Hidden Temple. RG Studios. Oh, we should have gotten him to guest star. Where did you get the T-800 hand? Oh, that was from our, um, uh, second Marvel Sam movie and, um, our three-part Aliens and Black Holes video. Um, I actually had that Terminator hand almost all my life. I got it when I was four years old after my cousin Dusty showed me the Terminator movies. And I fell in love with it instantly, and my mom, uh, and I were browsing around the mall, and there was the... Oh, that toy store that was always in every mall in the 90s. Um, and I found the Terminator hand, which was actually a puppet. There were uh, slots where you could put your fingers in and everything. And what was the first thing I did with it? Flipped my cousin Chris off. Repede55 asks, How many guys are on your channel? I lost count. That's one of them. Garrity! What's up, guys? Nothing. Shoot, Mason. Yeah. Mobless. But I don't remember. Oh, look up our IMDb page. Cameron Wagner asks, what happened to Cobbler? Well, he's hanging out with a different crowd now. Not another puppet show asks, who made your puppet? Oh, Shtobobo? Um, okay. I'm gonna tell you exactly how, uh, he, uh, uh how he, uh, became part of our show. When a mommy sock and a daddy sock love each other very much. Okay, but seriously, um, it was actually a Gremlins plush that Tom and I got. He didn't want it, so I asked if I could turn it into a puppet, and Ma said yeah. Hey, how come you don't have me in any more videos of yours? That's not true. You were in one of our videos recently. That was two years ago. That means we have to make a video with him. I'm with Taz on that one. All right, fine. We'll make another video. And our last question is from Nuster Piffy. Um, it was on our hot sauce video. Was this filmed in the 90s? Is that a compliment or insult? No. Well, there you are. There's the answers to your questions. I, on behalf of the Marvel SM Group, wish to thank you for watching our show for all these years. And thanks to our fans for helping us make this much videos by watching us get hurt so many times. And we would like to thank you for everything and all the support you've given. And we hope that we will continue to entertain you for a hundred more episodes. A hundred more episodes of a show that truly is... Marvelous. Subscribe!